You're never far from the water in Bangladesh. The problem is that much of it is unclean. That's why in the 1970s, aid agencies installed tube wells across the country, tapping deep water tables below the surface. But in the 1990s, scientists realized that this well water was contaminated with naturally occurring arsenic. 25% of tube wells had five times the safe limits of arsenic. For the people using this water every day to cook and drink, it's been a catastrophe. The WHO says this is the largest mass poisoning in human history. Millions of people got arsenic poisoning or arsenicosis, which can lead to cancer. But now there is a solution. This is the sonar filter, developed to remove the traces of arsenic from tube well water. There are literally millions of these tube wells across Bangladesh. And it's why any system to clean the water and remove the arsenic has got to be cheap and simple. And that's why this sonar filter system has become such a success. For the people in this village, it literally means the difference between life and death. Dr. A.K.M. Manir helped to develop the sonar filter with his brother and shows me how it works. This is tube well water. The arsenic-contaminated water passes through two plastic buckets containing different layers of sand, brick and, crucially, iron filings, which strip out the arsenic through a chemical reaction. This is the active material. It catches the arsenic and other toxic metals present in the groundwater. Not only arsenic, including manganese, which is known neurotoxin. OK. The sonar filters are manufactured by hand, a cottage industry using local materials and local labour. The beauty of the filter is it's simple to produce, costing just $30. So far, they've made 225,000, many distributed for free. As well as removing invisible traces of arsenic, it also takes out other sediment. You can really see the difference. Dr. Manir's brother, a chemistry professor in the US, received a million dollar award for the invention. Dr. Manir has helped put his brother's theory into practice to tackle this massive problem. 77 to 95 million are at, are at risk of arsenicosis. One to three children per thousand is at risk of arsenicosis. So you can imagine it is a greatest mass poisoning in the human history. Halima Begum has been suffering from these skin lesions for the past 12 years. Her legs and feet are covered in them, and they only appeared after she started drinking from a tube well. But nearby, Mohammed Israel Haq shows us how his lesions have gone since he started using the sonar filter. And after that, I cured. We are all cured. Perhaps half the entire population of Bangladesh is at risk of arsenic poisoning. The sonar filter offers hope to those who have them, but millions of people are still drinking unfiltered water, unaware it's slowly killing them. Dam Rivers, CNN, Bangladesh.